Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Oracle VM VirtualBox Manager. The first step is to locate the Oracle VM VirtualBox installation medium. So I'm going to open up my Windows Explorer and navigate to my downloads folder. And I have the installation medium that I've downloaded. I've demonstrated how to download it in my previous video. To begin the installation, select the file called virtualbox the version number win.exe and simply double click on it. You're, you're given prompted with a dialog box that says open file security warning. Yes, we're going to run this. Click run. So now we're prompted with the installation medium uh, installation dialog box. Welcome to the Oracle VM VirtualBox setup wizard. Great. Select next. Now we're given a set of default options. I would leave these options as they are. I wouldn't change them. Um, I recommend you leave the location to be default location. Um, C program files are fine. Um, select next. We're prompted, you want to create start menu entries? Yes, a shortcut on, de on the desktop? Yes, a good idea. A shortcut in the quick launch bar? A good idea. And register file association associations? Yes. So leave all the default settings. Choose next. Warning, your network interfaces. Um, installing the VM VirtualBox networking feature will reset your network connection and temporarily disconnect you from the internet, from the network. Proceed with installation. Yes, it's only very brief and I shouldn't cause any problems whatsoever. So I'm going to select yes here. And lastly, we're ready to begin the installation. Please review your settings uh, and click install or cancel. So we're going to click install. So um, I was prompted there with the user access control elevation prompt because it needs to install this as an administrator. So it's fine. Next, uh, would you like to install this device software and the security dialog box appears? Um, you can click install. I am implicitly, it's never good to grant someone complete trust. So I would uncheck that and click install. The disadvantage is it's probably going to prompt me two or three more times. So each time I'm going to uncheck it. Um, if I don't uncheck it, it means Oracle software could be automatically installed without my knowledge. And I prefer not, I prefer to be aware of any installation that happens. So once again, uncheck and click install. I believe I'm only presented with it three times. Perfect. So it says the Oracle VM virtual box um, installation is complete. Brilliant. So we can have the option to start the software once we click finish. So great. We have successfully installed the Oracle VM virtual box manager. And when it runs, this is what happens. Now, normally you wouldn't actually see this here. It's just that I happen to have a previous um, virtual machine presence. But this is the Oracle VirtualBox Manager. That's great. So thank you very much for watching. In the next video, I will show you how to install the Oracle um, VirtualBox extensions, which is important. It's highly recommended that you do that. I'll show you that in the next video. Thank you very much.